As you all know that the ratio of the CT should be same as ratio of ammeter for connecting these together. But a situation comes in front of you in which ratio of CT is different and the ratio of ammeter is different. Then how you will connect this ammeter with CT? If you want to learn this, watch the video till the last. Right now I have a CT and ammeter manufactured by CNC company. Let's take this CT and see where the ratio is written. Primary 60 ampere secondary 5 ampere ratio is 60 by 5 this ratio is for ct now if we consider this ammeter you can see 150 by 5 is written here ratio for this ammeter is 150 by 5 the ratio is different in both the devices if i want to connect this ammeter with this ct then parameter of the scale of ammeter needs to be changed if you have the suitable ammeter which can be connected with ct then you can change the scaling of this ammeter. Keep one thing in mind before scaling that is the ratio of this CT in output is 5 and also secondary ratio of ammeter is 5. This means secondary must be same. You will find two types of ratio for CT. Ratio can be 5 or can be 1. Ratio of CT in output is 5 so for ammeter also it should be 5 not 1. You can see the ratio for CT is 5 and for ammeter also it is 5. So we can do the scaling for ammeter. How to do the scaling let's understand. Take this ammeter and remove the cover at the upper side. I am opening this cover from the side edges. You can easily open this. You will find a glass here. Take this out carefully. Along with the glass zero adjustment knob also removed easily. Now this scaling needs to be taken out. For this you will find a cover at this side. Remove this cover. After this, you have the option to take this scale out. Slide this scaling by pushing from side. The scale is now completely out of ammeter. Now the values which are written over here has to be changed according to CT. How to do this? Let's understand. I don't want to destroy this scaling so I took a printout of this where I will explain you in detail. What you have to do is the highest range that is 150. The ratio of CT was 150 by 5. So in place of 150, we have to write this ratio. Right now, ratio of CT is 60. So I am writing 60 here. If pointer aims at this point, then we will consider this as 60 ampere current, not 150. For the below mentioned range, we need to do some calculation to change this. First of all, count the lines. How many are there? Three types of lines are present here. The bigger one, medium and small one. The medium lines are at 5 counting, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at every 5 count, a medium line is present. At the starting only, one medium line is there. So we will consider this as 5th. Before this, 4 lines were there. So this is 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Till here, total 10 lines are there. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. At 20th line, 100 ampere is there. Similarly, at 30, 150 ampere. So total 30 lines are there. The ratio of this CT is 60 by 5. I will write 60 divided by 30. On dividing, the result will be 2. This means the difference between every two consecutive lines is 2 ampere. We have to do scaling as per 2 ampere. This medium line is used for counting of 5. I will multiply this by 2. I am multiplying this by 2 because one scaling is 2 ampere. So 5 into 2. 10. This line will become 10 ampere. I am writing 10 ampere here. Scaling of 50 is at 10. If I count the lines, at 10th line this is present. I will cut this and multiply this by 2. Result will come as 20. So 20 ampere current will be written here. This line is at 15. So I will multiply this by 2. Answer is 30. So this will be 30 ampere. Here it will be 20 so 20 into 2 equals to 40 ampere similarly at here 50 and at here 60 ampere this ratio of ammeter is now 60 by 5 ampere according to this ratio ammeter will show current the maximum number of this scaling must also be changed for this you have to count how many lines are there in between till here counting was 30 from here to here 30 more will be added so 30 plus 30 is 60 and if multiplied by 2, answer is 120. In place of 300, 120 ampere must be written. 
If emitter shows reading till here, this means 120 ampere current is flowing. On this scale, these values needs to be changed. After changing the reading, put this back inside the emitter. Push little from the side and slide this to fix properly. Now place this glass above carefully. The knob present here for zero adjustment is to be mounted properly. Place this carefully. After this, place this side cover back to its position. After this cover, cover above the glass has to be placed also. Friends, we can remove this side cover without taking out glass. But in some emitter, we have to take out glass. If required, open this completely. Here you can directly take this out and can change the scaling. I hope you understood how different emitter ratio can be connected with different CT ratio. Friends, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this video.